be my historical park. Here we are. Take a little quick shot around here. Well, here we'll start off at the uh, visitor center. Right there. We just came through the entrance, a little guard shack there. They were very polite and friendly and, and chatty a little bit. Uh, amazing how a little bit of tie goes a long way. <clears throat> Actually, this morning I meant to shoot some video at this one restaurant. That had, uh, they never seemed to understand me when I ordered my egg there. And I wanted to kind of show that it isn't always gumdrops and rainbows when you're speaking Thai here as an amateur like I am. And, uh, they were closed, another group was there, and they understood everything I said and were super complimentary, so it didn't really work out as planned. I didn't get a video of it anyway. Anyways, here's uh there was a big light show in Nissan Dancing Festival here. Uh, it was a while ago. Okay, uh, on, on my, can you read? Naga Bridge. At this side is the Angkor Wat Siroth of the Shiril Century AD Street of Ayah Lai'an. 12th century AD. Then, the examples of the That's downtown Pimai, by the way. Buddha and Hindu mix together. Oh, oh, Buddhism and Hinduism mixed together here, she says. Okay, all right, I'll buy that. No, no, she would know. Yeah, these stone steps are kind of weird. They go up and then back down a little bit and then back up. Obviously, there's a reason. Um, these are super old. They said the 11th century. So that's a thousand years ago, I guess. Nine cents. Huh? Yeah. What does that mean? I see that a lot. This one have uh, jet na. I need jet na. Tell me. in the river in long time ago. Snake da con. Oh, okay. Oh, that's the dragon. Okay. That's the thing I was joking with my son about. There is the locals believe there was a dragon in the lake behind the restaurant where we sometimes go. I've shot a couple of short videos there. I did a little dancing one for a retirement party for a lady a couple of weeks ago. And my son goes, yeah, go ahead and, and, and swim in that, uh, go ahead and swim in that lake. He goes, Dad, you're going to find out the myth about the dragon's a freaking crocodile. You're going to get bit. He's laughing at me. I thought it was, that's his typical humor. It was for, I had was laughing a lot, too. It was very funny. Yeah. We have a ton of fun. This is nice and cool and shady in here. Amazing how cool two feet thick of stone will make something. <clears throat> very pretty, though. I mean, this, uh. Obviously, absolutely oozes authenticity. You can't get much more authentic than this. Very cool. Pimai Historical Park, right in the center of downtown the city of uh, Pimai. So super easy to find. Like, you can't miss it. Uh, really can't miss it. Stone works, you know, pretty good. That is... Right there, particularly good stonework right there. That would be very hard to do. This is really pretty right here, very. Oh, there's a floor up there at one point, or, or not, or what? I wonder what this complete structure would have looked like. You know, would there have been a roof on it? Or... Look at that straight ahead, huh? That was all lit up with purple lights when we were here. 
It's very pretty, very, very pretty. We walked through this archway to get to the light show and the dancing. I find the women doing the traditional Isan dancing is quite sexy. Something about it, I don't know. It's really quite, you know, it's sex, a subtle sexy. It's not like the gyrating the pelvis sort of overtly sexy, it's, which is, as you get older, it's less appealing. The Isan dancing is really, really cool. Yeah, Isan dancing. And now my girlfriend will do some Isan dancing to show everyone. That's not Isan dancing. My Jing. <laughs> In a new open area we come through we came through here you can kind of see the whole structure better now and then there's like a remnant of a wall look at that back there it comes around at least two sides of the park it looks like oh, and, then the, and it connects to another bigger structure back there this is all in one smooth shot and then and there's this main structure here it looks like and then uh, oh look at that a roof Made of stone? Wasn't that something I haven't seen before? 35 years in construction. Never occurred to us to make a wall of a, a roof out of stone. How about that? Well, I did do a slate roof one time. A lot of work. Made a fortune off of it. It was really good. I wish I was doing that money now. I'd be a billionaire here if I had that kind of money. <clears throat> yeah, unrelated to stone temples and PMI, but my goodness, if you could... Uh, work remotely and even make 40 percent of your salary you could probably make a lot more than that when you come here you'd be so much richer you'd save so much more for your retirement you wouldn't know what to do with it all probably start collecting ferraris or something Really quite something. Really, really quite something. I'm gonna hang on. So this is really something where this is the door we just came out of. And you gotta go way back, Scott. And the, uh... So this is the doorway uh, we just came out of. It's pretty windy. I'm just going to do a brief narration here. So when you come out, you, you're at this point here. Uh, stonework is just absolutely incredible. I think it speaks for its, uh, itself, so I'm going to be quiet. Really quite something. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I know I'm in, tour, I'm in a tour, travel industry promotion mode today. I mean, if you're unhappy back in the States and, uh, or wherever you're from, then... Uh, you gotta think of coming here. This is the weather. This is freaking winter right now. Look at this weather. That is really pretty. That's probably that's the best elevation I've seen of this whole thing yet. Let me get back. This, I don't know what this is. I mean, to me, it just seems older, but maybe it's just a different purpose. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah, at some point, they stoned in the window openings. Security, maybe. I don't know. Got these. Oh, here's the, the modern stuff for the light show. This is how they do it. It's a good way to conceal it. That's clever. Good for them. I don't know. I mean, that's a carved decorative coping. Those really don't seem like steps to me. I don't know. The doorway for looking out of, maybe? Not in? Not going in? There's steps there. Oh, and look how worn they are from over time. That's quite interesting. I suspect this is a fairly soft stone. But you can look at the steps of a marble steps of the courthouse in your town back home. Inside, have stone. Oh yeah, I know it's a stone red, yeah. 
Plang Hindang. Oh, Hindang, stone red. Oh, Plang Kulai. Vertical? Tall. Soon is tall, but Plang is the other side. Hindang is, is red stone. Okay, Hindang is literally well, stone red, but that's what we say, red stone. Okay. Try. Are you Makwamai? Okay, so this this stone here is older. Okay, that makes complete sense to me. Okay, cool. All right. All right. I'm driving in the car with my uh, my lady here. Um, uh, so that's the video on the, uh, the natural park there in the center of downtown Pimai. Um, wrap this video up here and then uh, I got to put together the video for uh, a very brief but I think useful driving tour of Pimai. Our, our intent was to kind of show the city a little bit and, and it is a cool little city. I, I prefer Nansun personally as a place to live uh, but Pimai is absolutely worth spending an afternoon at and there are some nice shops there um, and ice cream in front of Mr. DIY is awesome for sure. Okay. Thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.